I'm here with Greg Cohen, 20-year product management veteran and author of Agile Excellence for Product Managers. Greg, let's talk about prioritization. It's a pretty important job for a product manager. How do you do that? So the simple explanation is you prioritize the things of highest business value first. And it's easy to understand, but that's extremely hard, once again, to implement well. So it really helps to understand what is your goal or objective with each release, because if you understand that, then usually that prioritization falls out of it. And would you agree that a lot of problems are exacerbated by not really being sure what's valuable to the user and just trying to cram in lots of stuff and instead of being focused on doing a few things really well? And yes, how do you solve that? Absolutely. Um, are a really big challenge, yeah. and everyone has their pet thing that they want to prioritize with within the company. So that's where socialization of the backlog becomes really important, and also, as you said, really understanding what is of value to the user. It reminds me of an experience I had when I was a younger product manager. I was working on contract management systems, and I came into this company. It was a, a new role, and they said in 90 days, I had to have this product out to three customers. This was a commitment. We couldn't break it. Uh, I had to, within that time, understand actually what what was really needed for the users, and then also what the capability of my team was. And I had a small team, which I think at the time I thought was a deficit, but it's probably what allowed us to hit our deadline. But I also had to leave a major capability out of that system, and I lost so much sleep about this. And it's really rare, I think, when I think about my experiences, to have something that was so binary as this decision, because often products succeed or fail on hundreds and thousands of smaller design decisions that you put in there. But we left this out. Our customers were furious, the three users. They said they would abandon the product if we didn't fix it. But the reality is from an MVP standpoint, what was the minimum viable? My goal was to deliver value to those users. And they realized value from this more limited release. And when I say they realized value, they saved hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars using the product as is. And they opted to use the product as is over, not use the product. But I still, I said, I, I mean, I lost a lot of sleep on this decision. I thought about it uh, for, for many years since. I think for me, the true test here was the fact that when we did release the next version, it took us nine months to get our customers to adopt the new version and migrate over to it, which huh. to me says the first version did a very good job <laughs> of delivering early value to them. And, and I wish all decisions were that simple and, and went that well, but I think that was one that was you know very clear that there was an enormously tough trade-off to be made but it was necessary to hit the deadline and get value delivered to the user and our customers sooner rather than later. And was it understanding that there was a going talking to customers and watching what they did and understanding that there was enough value there without that feature that, that gave you that confidence to finally make the decision or was it just strictly a matter of necessity? How, how did you get there with that decision? Well, in these it's tough because yes, I went out, talked to customers and spent a lot of time with them, but at some point, it becomes a judgment call mm -hmm. and it's a conviction. And I don't think you can know that a priori, whether, whether that decision was right. Mm -hmm. What I do know is that the amount of time it took us to build version one was just about the same amount of time as it took us to build version two, because this capability added that much more complexity to the design and testing of the product. So in that sense, I had a choice. I could leave this capability out and get this product to my users in 90 days, Right, or I could actually took us four months to do the, the second version, or they could sit seven months without us delivering any value to them and we would have broken our contract. I see, okay, great. Well, that is some great advice on making the hard decisions about your backlog from Greg Cohen. Thanks so much, Greg.